Hi from Tone Hair Salon. I am getting my hair done today um, for the second time in the past couple weeks and I wanted to go live and talk about the process of what I am going through. So I am naturally very, very dark and I've got this little handy dandy swatch guide. Um, I'm naturally like right here. So very, very, very dark. I want to go back light again and I want to go around here well we cannot get me this light in one session I cannot go from here to here in one session it's gonna take probably like three maybe four sessions and carefully placed so I don't get my hair damaged um, Nora just did another full foil on me. Um, I still do have my extensions in. She kind of foiled around them. Um, and my extensions are lighter than what my natural color is. But um, I wanted to show you because I think a, a misconception is that we have a lot of clients that come in, they have really, really dark hair and they're like, I want to be platinum or I want to be ashy blonde. And it's just not possible to do it in the one session. Even with virgin hair, you've never had color on it. It's more than likely what we can do is from this we can go up to about here in one session so about four levels of lift and then the next section session we can go a little bit lighter and then the next because every single time when we lift you you're gonna have an underlying pigment of a red or orange these ugly colors that we <laughs> we really try to avoid um, so a lot of the times when we are lifting we do have to tone it to be something pretty like this um, but I think the main thing is is if we can get our guests to understand that when you do book an appointment to go lighter or balayaged and and have lighter pieces just know that it is a process and it involves patience um, and a few sessions more than likely so um, and, and the main thing is to keep your hair healthy so I guess you could say it is possible to go from here to here but it, your hair may not be um, very healthy hey, Brittany yeah girl I'm talking about you <laughs> she had yeah, Brittany just actually texted me about going to a cooler ashier blonde um, and in her case we have already done one process um, actually probably a couple processes so she is a little bit lighter on the end so it won't be as difficult so let's just pretend she's like around here going to here is going to be possible um, now if there's some darker strands in her hair like around here it won't so we're gonna have to slowly get there so she may have strands that end up not being as cool white but the pieces that are already light yes we can get lighter and then tone to a cooler um, ashier part but anyways um, I am processing now I am getting put under a little bit of heat you see this little rotating device going on um, that is going to help me lift because I am extremely hard to lift and I love to pull lots and lots of gold <laughs> yes Brittany I can't wait to see I knew that I'm gonna take care of you. you're gonna look beautiful um, all right y'all have a great day I'm gonna send some um, I'm gonna take lots of after pictures and I'm, I am kind of um, taking pictures and videos of each step of the process so that I can give y'all like a real time, this is when you got really, really dark hair, how to lift it properly and not have damage and achieve that blonde look. Um, and then the maintenance. So even when I get really nice and blonde, um, I'm gonna have some roots that I'm gonna have to take care of about every three, four weeks. When I was like really, really blonde, I would say I was, I've was i never been platinum. Um, I just, my hair just won't get there. Um, but when I've been close to it, I was putting root touch up on every two weeks. So it is a much more high maintenance look. Um, and you know, sometimes it's fun to just put the extensions in because then I don't have to do all that work. Um, and then it's always gonna stay nice and bright and light without doing too much to my hair, but this time I'm going for an overall change. So, all right, I will um, touch base with you guys in a little bit when I am done processing, and I will um, take after pictures and show you guys the results. Bye. Right. If you have any questions, please, please, please message us. We would love to answer any questions that you have. Again, this is our little nifty guide of, you know, we'll place it onto your hair and be like, okay, this is where you are. This is where you can be today.
everything is patience and time, um, but it is achievable with the right hair stylist and the right technique and um, patience. So patience, big, big word, patience. All right, love y'all. Bye.